Hey guys, today we are going to be learning and talking about learning disabilities. Does everyone know what a learning disability is? Chances are we have all known someone with a learning disability, but did you know that there are no specific known causes of a learning disability? Hmm. But instead it can result from one or more impairments that can relate to the way a child or person perceives things and remembers and learns. Can you think of ways we may learn differently? We are all unique individuals and learn very differently from one another. Just look around your classroom. How many people do you see? Do you really think that we learn all the same and absorb information in the same way? No, you are absolutely correct. We all learn differently and that is this does not mean that this is a bad thing, however. In fact, this is fantastic. But we do have to keep in mind and remember that a child that has been diagnosed with a learning disability will usually have difficulties acquiring the typical skills and knowledge attained by their age group. And this must be kept in mind. Well, that was a lot to take in, but let's break it down together. Firstly, the term learning disability is like a blanket because it covers a number of different circumstances that a child may come to face with. Secondly, as a future teacher, you have to keep in mind that reading and writing can be a challenge and math can be a very difficult barrier to overcome for a learning disability child. Come on, who hasn't had trouble with math or English or science? Odds are we have all had some kind of difficulty in one kind of subject in school. Although this is coming from somebody who has been diagnosed with learning disability. But let me tell you about a story about a little boy who had a learning disability. This little boy had problems with memorization, speech, reading, and school challenges, and even ended up quitting school. Well, let me tell you what happened to that little boy. He ended up being one of the greatest minds in math known to this day. That's right, that little boy was Albert Einstein. And as he says, everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life thinking that it's stupid. So, just to let you know, more children in this country have a learning disability than all other types of the disabilities combined. That's a lot of people. In fact, to be exact, it's 59.8. According to our professor, a learning disability is the gap associated between cognitive development and achievement. This is not to say that a child who is an LD cannot be successful, but they need to be able to have time to understand and comprehend what the teacher is explaining. Not to overload you with more information or statistics, but it's important for you to understand that a child diagnosed with a learning disability may have difficulty in remembering the information or understand it. Basically what happens is that when they retrieve the information from their brains, they put it back in the wrong place. Once a student has been diagnosed having a learning disability, the next step is to establish an individual education plan or program for the student to help them to help them further in education. But you have to remember, keep in mind, you have to be with the parent and the educational assistant in order to establish an IEP. We're going to look at the do's and don'ts of working with a child with a learning disability. Let's look at the do's. Class, today we have a very nice lesson. We're going to talk about how to make a fraction into decimal. It's very nice, it's very easy, all of you will get it. So, 0 0.75 is approximately, or it's exactly, to be exact, three fourths. So, Emily, you like how to do that? Yeah, I don't really get it. All right, so three quarters, if you take that and multiply it by 25, Excellent, Emily. So how much is 3 multiplied by 25? A really big number. Exactly. <laughs> Let's try to do it together. Okay. 25. So 3 times 5. 50. Excellent. 75. I love how you got that, Emily. I used quarters like a dollar. That's amazing. <laughs> 75, all right. So now multiply 25 by the bottom one. By 4. Yeah. Tell me how you'll get it. What you'll get it. Well, try it. Do it the same way. 25. Yeah. 50. Excellent. 
75. So yeah. that's times by three, right? Exactly. And then another one. Do you think that might be 100? I think it's exactly. Because it's a dollar? Exactly. Emily, you're good in that. Thank you. So you can see it's 75 over 100 is equal to 0 0.75. How you like that? Now nobody can shortchange you on anything. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure, Emily. You're good in that. So one of the other things that we could have done is modified lesson plan that you could come up with the parents or with the associate teacher. Uh, I used positive reinforcement, which was good because we could see that she was encouraged. Emily was getting into the problem. She really wanted to solve it and more time. So she needed more time. She was able to do the problem. She just needed more time. We could use quiet place. You could use a calculator. You could do direct um, instruction, like as I did one-on-one. -on -one. So this is all of the do's that we can add. Now we're going to be talking about the don'ts. Right. So today we're going to talk about uh, fractionals. So 0 0.75 is equal to 3 quarters. So let's try to solve it together. Oh, Nicole, you're done. Amazing. Yes. Emily, come on, come on. Today. Today. Ah, but I told you. Yeah. But you don't get it. It's easy. I don't understand. Point zero seventy five is three quarters. But, but, Why are you arguing with me? Stop talking back. But, you know what, Emily? Just sit on the side, please. Until you know what you have to do. Why am I in trouble? You're not in trouble. Just sit and work on the problem. Thank you. All right, we can continue now. So in that scene, we did see Mr. Albert approaching the student in a much more negative fashion, addressing how she was doing it incorrectly and not giving her positive reinforcement. Therefore, the student began to continue to struggle with the actual math problem rather than gaining confidence in herself. Also, having Mr. Albert separate Emily from the class entirely contributed to her self-esteem and therefore also discouraged her in wanting to uh, continue in the learning process. The approach that Mr. Albert did take was negative and therefore should never be done within a classroom setting or even at home. So as Nicole just said, we just witnessed some do's and don'ts of classroom strategies with the student with a learning disability. Since we looked at specifically a student with a math learning disability, we're now going to take a look at a student with language. We're first going to look at the don'ts. Morning class, so today we're going to be reading the same book that we read yesterday. Roger, can you tell me the title of the book? If you give a pig a pancake. How about you, Albert? Uh, we read this book yesterday, Albert. How can you not remember the name? Also, Roger just said the name of the book. Uh, Sound of the word. Uh, if... Uh, yes, if you. I don't Come want on, to Albert. Say. I don't want to say. All right, well, you're going to have to rewrite it out then. So, in that situation, myself as a teacher handled, handled things completely incorrectly as I raised my voice at Albert and also gave negative feedback, no positive reinforcement. In doing that, I caused Albert deep anxiety and also forced him to regress. I also did not take into account that Albert was diagnosed with dysnomia and therefore also required extra attention and also extra assistance in reading and also writing. Now we're gonna do another don't, just to give you another perspective. Good morning class, we're going to be rereading the book that we read yesterday. Can you tell me the title of the book, Rajkir? If you give a pig a pancake. Excellent. Can anybody tell me the author of the book? Albert? If you give a pig a pancake. Albert, that's incorrect. We went over this yesterday. Why would you raise your hand if you didn't know the answer? You're wasting the class's time. I'm sorry. The author is just below it. And it says, by Laura, number off. Give a pig a pancake is the title of her. You should remember that. This situation, Miss Nicole handled everything incorrectly. One, she did not give Albert positive reinforcement. Two, she did a tone of voice that was provided no support. 
Three, she put him down. And four, called his mistakes out in front of everyone, which is wrong. Now, since we have the idea of the don'ts with somebody with a learning disability, we're going to look at the do's. We're going to be rereading the book that we read yesterday. Can anyone tell me the title of the book? It's the next right here. If you give a pig a pancake. So in that situation, Miss Nicole decided to use universal design, which includes inclusion of the student into all of the lesson plans. Nicole also used the educational assistant to come up with a different plan to help Albert with his learning disability and language. She also talked to the parents to decide exactly what she should do in order to help Albert understand language more thoroughly. Making your way in the world today takes everything you've got. Taking a break from all your worries sure would help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. And they're always glad you came. You want to be where you can see. Our troubles are all the same. You want to be where everybody knows your name. So as we can see here, this artistic portrayal of learning disabilities begins at home and then continues onto the community, eventually reaching the school system. We all work as one in order to provide support for all people within a community. So the different support systems that have been put in place, such as the parent, can usually help and encourage their child who has been diagnosed with a learning disability. Next, we have the community, and as the community says, we are all different and unique, and this is where a student or a person may learn to become a part of a community and form friendships and relationships. As we see in the next one, or our last one, is the school, which will provide the student with positive reinforcement and inclusiveness in order to achieve academically. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching our documentary on learning disabilities. I hope you enjoy. For next time, 